I did not recently know about this jailbreak. So today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation or third generation MC model iOS 4.2.1 using Green Poison. Alright guys, so let's get on with this tutorial. So the first thing you guys are going to need to do is open up iTunes on your computer. Now this can be on Mac or Windows, but what you want to make sure of is that your device is connected to the computer via USB. Now what you're going to need to do is back your device up to your computer and then restore. Then after that, restore from that backup and you should have everything on there as you did before, but it'll be a clean restore of iOS, but you will still have everything as you did back before it was like that. So anyway, the developer has said he to, um, he has said that it does fix things um, and it is a lot better, a lot less buggier if you do that. But anyway, let's get on with this tutorial. Alright guys, so the next thing you guys have to do is download the Green Poison application for Mac, which will be available in the description below. Green Poison, the website, the official website is down right now for, for some reason, I don't know why. But after you're done downloading that, extract it to wherever on your Mac, then open up Finder and search for Green Poison. Right click on Green Poison as soon as you find it, and then press show package contents instead of open so not open show package contents now after that double click on the contents folder then double click on mac os then double click on green poison this will open up a terminal shell window also opening up the application that we need to jailbreak so it's going to ask us if we're jailbreaking an Apple TV today. So for this tutorial, I'm going to say no because we are not jailbreaking our Apple TV. And now we want to make sure our device is connected via USB. And we also want to make sure we turn our device off and we are ready to start jailbreaking. Now the next step in the jailbreaking process is putting your iDevice into DFU mode. So all you have to do is press the sleep button for three seconds. So three, two, one. Then continue holding the sleep button and press the hold button, the home button for 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now release the sleep button and continue holding the home button for an additional 10 seconds. Now after this happens, just keep holding the home button and you should see the jailbreaking icon. And you should see a white screen pop up on your device. This is how you know it's working. Alright guys, so now this is the white screen I was talking about. So it'll be on here for a little while, but then there's nothing to worry about. It might look like it's crashing, but it will crash back to these lines of code, as you can see. And this is all of the code. Now this is what we really want. Now we're going to matrix mode here, so do not let go of the home button until you see the Apple logo. That is very vital, so keep holding the home button throughout this um, matrix line of code. I guess you could say ish um, process because it will not actually continue through unless you press the home button. I know it's weird, but that is the only way it will continue through as I have found. So just keep pressing the home button until you see the Apple logo, until all of this white text with the back with the black background goes away, and then after that you should be okay. Alright guys, so now this is the step where we see it actually working. Here's the Apple logo into the Green Poison logo. This, guys, is how you know it's working correctly and it will boot up Jailbroken. And we are back up at the normal lock screen, as you guys can see. So let's slide to unlock. This did take quite a while, the other the booting, so I uh, sped that up. But anyway, swipe to the right, and there you go, guys. There is the new loader icon that was just put on our device. So this is where we go to install Cydia, guys. So all we're going to do is tap on this icon, as you guys can see. And now it's going to bring up, it's going to say loading sources, and here is where we install Cydia. So all we have to do is tap on that right now, as you guys can see, so we're about to tap on that. And as you guys can see, as soon as we tap on that, it's going to say, it's going to come up with two options, install Cydia or cancel. So I'm going to press install Cydia right now. 
As you can see, now it's going to press downloading. I did not have to speed this up because it actually took uh, not that long. So it's downloading, uh, it's 37, 38, uh, and it says the percentage, it's extracting, and it will say success pretty soon, but it's still extracting. And here we go, success. So now what you guys need to do is go uh, into options and then uh, tap remove loader.app, but I'm not going to do that right now. And backing out of the application, you will see, actually makes an automatic respring take effect, as you guys can see. And so after we respring our iPod or whatever we're using, we'll be back up and we'll have Cydia fully working on iOS 4.2.1. Alright guys, and here it is. So slide to unlock, swipe to the right ones, open up Cydia, and it will do its initializing file system dance. So I somewhat lied about that, sorry. Um, this is the last step before we actually get Cydia to work um, fully. So this is the initializing fi uh, file system dance that Cydia always does. Um, so basically, it's basically downloading all these packages and sources and repos, whatever you want to call them, from the internet. It's respring your device, applying the magic. As you can see, it's done the boot, so we're going to slide to unlock, swipe to the right once, and before we do that, I'm just going to remove loader. Um, it's not required. You don't have to, but it's um, recommended um, that you do that in case you mess anything up. You want to make sure just in case you remove that. So options, remove loader.app, and we'll do that right now, and I'll show you that it takes effect immediately. So we'll back out of the application. As you can see, now we are it's not recognizing my swipes. Um, so that means it's taking effect immediately, and it's respring my device, and it's back up, as you guys can see. And here is Cydia, and there is no loader. That is the only icon that is there, so there's no more loader.app. So anyway, tap on Cydia, and now it brings up the Who Are You screen. So this is the user, hacker, and developer screen. I'm going to tap user and press done. And here you guys can see it will display a message that says that this version of Cydia is unsupported. This is because this uh, version of Cydia is a long, um, this one is from a long time ago. Um, so now it will actually ask you to update to like 1.1.9, um, which is the new Cydia. And Surik, actually, I'll give him a lot of credit. He actually went back and um, got this working on devices all the way from iOS 3 to all the way up to the current iOS 7. So thumbs up for that. But anyway, so this is what it will look like. Um, so we'll come up with a uh, saying that. But anyway, if you top options, it says City and Star, copyright 2008 and 2010, Jay Freeman. Also known as Cirk, but anyway, here's all the sources, searches, all that. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. That is all for now, guys. This is David, signing out.